In this video of Part Workbench, we are going to see how to create fillet and chamfers. So let's first create a new document. Let me create a queue which is having 100 millimeter length and 100 millimeter width. Next, I'll create another queue with width of 100 millimeters and a height of 100 millimeters. And last, we'll create a cylinder with radius of 10 millimeters, height of 100 millimeters, and we'll make the position of this to be 50, 50, 50 in x direction, 50 in y direction. Now, we know that if you want to create a fusion or a union, you can select two objects. But for union operation, you can select three objects and then click on make union of several shapes. This will create a fusion for us. Now, we know that um, chamfers can be or fillets can be created at the intersection of two surfaces. So let's click on fillet the selected edges for the selected shape we need to select which shape you would like to fill it so we'll select fusion for this one when you select fusion the next parameter is what do you want to select you want to select edges or you want to select faces if we select faces then all the edges related or associated with that face will be filleted right now we'll select the edge and then the next option you get is either you want to have constant radius or variable radius. Variable radius means there will be two radiuses that you can select between. For this demonstration, we'll just use constant radius. Next, let's create a fillet of this edge. Control click this edge and the third one. And I would like to make the radius of them as three millimeters and then when I click OK you can see that the face between uh, the left hand side face of this geometry has opened up and uh, the fillet is not we are not able to get the correct filleting as shown here so what do we need to do for that let's go back delete fillet so we get our fusion back this fusion we will click on part and refine shape now keep an eye on these uh, extra edges and faces on this side we have similar edges and faces on the other side as well keep an eye on them so I select fusion click on part refine shape and what that does is there is only one face for those four different faces that we had so to see what is uh, what was beforehand let's hide the fusion 001 and let's see fusion where you have one two three different faces for that same l-shaped face and there are two individual edges in between those faces so let's open the nice fusion 001 and then let's go in and select the edges that we would like to select for the fillets let's change this to three millimeters and let's select okay now as you can see that this has created a nice fusion of a solid and fillets are also looking perfect now here you can see that the intersection of these three edges nice fusion has been done here but we can see that this edge does not sit right with that fusion to solve this what we can do is we can also have the filleting option for that edge as well now to edit this there is when you click on fillet you can't change the radius or anything in the property window to change those 
uh, fillet radiuses or select additional um, edges you need to double click fillet when you double click you get the same panel as you got for the filleting uh, of different edges now let's go in and control click all the edges that we want filleted So I have selected all the faces that I want filleted and I would also like to add 3 millimeter for all of them and when I hit enter the only change that I see is that all of the other ones are having 1 millimeter radius of fillet whereas the others have 3 millimeter so I go back select radius enter 3 and then when I click on enter I can see that nice three millimeter fillet has been added to all the edges that we had selected now what I can do is I can select this edge and I can also do filleting of that edge so when I select this let's make it three millimeters not two and then when I hit enter you can see that that edge has been filleted as well now for filleting or for doing the chamfering we'll use the same geometry so first of all let's just fill it we will move it in say 200 in the x direction now this fusion let's create one more refined shape of that fusion so that becomes our fusion 002 and let's create chamfering for this fusion so again for chamfering or chamfer it's the same thing you need to select the edges that you would like to chamfer so start selecting edges that needs chamfering and let's give it a three millimeter chamfer as you can see this all the edges that we had selected has got a nice chamfer again same as fillet if you want to change anything in chamfer you can go in and select you can go in and select those extra edges that needs chamfering then again enter three millimeters and when you click on ok you can see that a nice chamfer has been added to all the edges that needs to be chamfered so let's reiterate the steps for filleting or chamfering we need a solid that has nearly nice and tidy edges so for that what we do is we go in and click on part refine shape once when the shape has been refined then we can go in and select fillet and then for fillet we then select all the edges that we would like to fill it and then we give it a radius and then when we click ok the entire fillet is created similarly for chamfering the method remains the same when we select chamfer we select all the edges that are required and then we click on ok and you will see nice chamfer as well so that's how we do filleting and chamfering in part workbench in FreeCAD.